Hey everybody, it's Eric Holmgren, your ambassador at large with the Placentia Chamber of Commerce. And today I am at the donut chain with Nate Cadena. Yes, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are so you doing, nice Eric? nice to meet you. Pleasure. And while I have eaten here in the past, I you we're now under new ownership. That's new right. Management. That's correct. So very exciting. Yes, very exciting for us as well. We've had it for about two months now. Okay. Well, cool, cool. Yeah. Now, is this your first business? Uh, this is not my first business. So my wife and I, we have our own businesses as well. Uh, my wife has a makeup artistry business. Okay. Uh, she's been running for about I'd say about ten years now, and then I have a snow business. Okay. Yeah. Will you make snow? I make snow. I make snow for, uh, and we're, you know, being that it's November, we're going to start getting, ramping up here pretty soon. Okay. And, uh, I mean, be, be pretty busy the next couple months, you okay. know, but uh, we do a lot of residential city events. In fact, we're doing the city of Placentia tree lighting event here uh, at the end of the month. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's very unusual. Sure. Yeah. How did you get into that? You know what? It's, um, so when my sons, I have four sons. Uh, two of them are in college right now, but when they were little guys, about four and five, um, every Christmas morning I would drive up to the mountains and I would fill up the back of my truck with some snow. Okay. I'd bring it down to the neighborhood. I'd put it on the lawn, and uh, before you know it, you know it, it was uh, it was a white Christmas. Okay. That's that's what I was trying to oh, say. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. So I always thought it was it was always a hit uh, for the neighborhood kids, and they would love it. So I always thought you know that would be a pretty good business. So. It took me about 10, 15 years to finally, you know, uh, put it to work. But, okay. you know, yeah, so I've been in the business for about eight years now. Okay. Yeah. Well, very interesting. So uh, quite a juxtaposition between making snow and making donuts. Sure. How did you get involved with uh, having a donut store? Yeah, absolutely. So we, we no experience in, in uh, the donut business. Um, but my, like I mentioned, my wife and I, we, we are business owners. So, you know, we know how to operate a business. Um, my wife has always wanted a coffee shop. And I told her, you know, hey, right, right now is not the time. Uh, you know, we're in our mid 40s. My wife's younger than I, but I said, hey, maybe about 50, we'll, we'll look at getting you a coffee shop. Um, but by chance, she happened to come by a few months ago and she bought a dozen of donuts. She was taking it to her nail salon. And um, the, the previous owner was in here and they were, and he had mentioned that the, the new owners had to sell the business. Okay. Um, so she gave me a call. And uh, I started doing some research, and a week later, we had the keys of the, the building. <laughs> wow. That's how it all came, came, came together. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, that's, that's uh, interesting that you indulged your wife with, with this, <laughs> um, and then took the leap into a totally new business. Yeah, absolutely. So. Well, you know, we're, we're entrepreneurs at heart, and, you know, we, we like to hustle, and, uh, you know, we, we never thought we'd be in the donut space, right. but um, we, we figure things out. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. Now, uh, now that you have it under your management and you're starting to put your own brand or you're starting to put your own um, tastes into it, sure. what are some things that like make your donut store different from some of the others around? You know, I, I, well, first off, it, it's our, it's our um, environment, I would say, our culture. You know, that's what we really wanted to, to bring to the community. Uh, we've been part of the community for over 15 years now. We love Placentia. We live here in this neighborhood right behind us. So the, the first goal was kind of, you know, giving it a little facelift, you know, needed a little bit of a, a, a cleaning, new paint, stuff like that. Um, and then bringing the community in, letting them know that we're here. Um, I would say our service is, is next to none. We have great people working for us, our great staff. And, you know, with any business, you're only as good as the people underneath you, right? And your support, you know, so... I would say what sets us apart is our service, our friendly service, our family environment, and then our donuts are excellent as well. Yes, I can attest to that. <laughs> That's so, right. Well, very good. Mm -hmm. um, now, as you know, with our chamber chats, we're usually at, uh, talking to our business owners about some challenges that they've faced. Sure. So what's a challenge that you faced here with your donut store? Sure, yeah, I think our, our biggest challenge was uh, finding a baker, uh, it really was. So we, we've. Um, we've modeled this a little bit different, the, the structure of the business, because we own a, a multiple businesses. Uh, my wife and I, we, we, you know, and, and we don't know anything about donuts, so, we, you know, obviously we're not going to bake them. Right. So the, the biggest challenge was finding a, a baker to help our, our, um, our existing baker, okay. right? So we have a baker that comes in early in the morning, and, and early on for the first two months, he was in here seven days a week. Oh, wow. So our challenge was finding a baker that can make the same quality donuts, you know, not compromise our donuts, 
um, and and give them a little bit of a break. So, okay. you know, luckily we uh, we were able to source a, a great baker that that complements our our you know our main baker, right? And our donuts aren't compromised, <laughs> and um, so we're able to give them a break. But that was our biggest challenge finding a, a baker. Okay, yeah, because yeah, that seems to be a very specific type of job, and you have to have the uh, willingness to be up at the crack of dawn making. Absolutely. Yeah. No, there, there's, there's a skill set to, to making a donut. And luckily, everybody that knows the community and knows this shop, they know about Jack, right? Okay. And Jack was the original owner. He was here for 15 years. Um, I can't thank Jack enough for, you know, helping us through this process and, and, and being willing to stay here and make our donuts for us and bake them. Um, you know, so, yeah, I, I mean, there, there definitely takes a skill set, but nobody... I would challenge anybody to, to put up our donuts against Jack's Donuts. You know, they're, they're, they're very good. Well, good. Um, so then how did you find a baker? What was the method that you Yeah, to? absolutely. So a, a lot of word of mouth. Um, you know, I, I was my, my mother-in-law, she hit, the, she hit the pavement, you know, looking for a baker for us, trying to find us leads. Uh, we had put some Facebook ads, some Instagram ads. And luckily, we got a Facebook ad that led to a baker. He wasn't experienced enough to come in, but he was able to, you know, um, uh, pass on our information to his friend. And uh, that's, the, that's, the, that's the baker that stuck. Okay. Yeah, so he does a great job for us. He comes in, you know, Monday through Wednesday or Monday through Thursday, and Jack works the, the rest of the week. And, you know, it's working great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I suppose at some point in the future, if Jack wants to retire, <laughs> you're going to have to then find somebody. That, that somebody could be else another challenge. Or out. maybe at that point, you know, I'll be looking to retire and I'll, maybe I'll be making the donuts. Who knows? Okay. You know, but I am, you know, obviously you have to know how to make a donut being the business owner. And uh, so my wife and I, we, we, you know, we dabble in it a little bit. You know, I'm learning how to make croissants now and, oh, you cool. know, and I'm learning the donut process. So, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen too soon. But <laughs> if it does, we, we definitely will need to learn how to make donuts. Well, I, I would think so. I mean, if there was some calamity where somebody was ill or something like that, yes. uh, you'd be in trouble. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah. So, no, we're always looking for good bakers and, you know, keep that Rolodex open and, you know, um, in, in the event that we need another baker. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds like a, a because it's a very niche type of thing. Sure. It's a challenge. Sure. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out. It's so far... So good. Yes. And, Thank you. Uh, and is there anything else before we wrap things up that you want to share with? The yeah. Community? No, I just thank you. Thank you, uh, Placentia. Thank you for the community for coming out and supporting our business. Um, we, my wife and I are, are truly blessed to have all, you know, the amount of support that, that you guys have shown us. Uh, the Placentia buzz. Um, and, and again, my, I have four sons. They all, they all came through, uh, you know, the, the school districts here, Wagner, Tuffrey, El Dorado. Uh, we're, we, we love the city of Placentia. We love the people. And we really, uh, you know, appreciate your, your support. Terrific. Yeah. Well, Nate, it was so nice to meet you. Eric, pleasure and meeting you. Thank you for coming in. I'm, I'm going to steal a donut. Before absolutely. You. Absolutely. You, your whole, you and your whole crew will get, get a donut. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, if you're looking for a great place to come and get a donut, come to the donut chain. The address will be in the details below this video. And until our next episode, be well. <laughs>